Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we are going to learn how to name two similar triangles. And I had asked a question whenever I was talking about criteria for similar triangles that if you have problem in uh, writing the ratios for the triangles then do let me know. And I have received a number of uh, emails from the viewers and also a few of them have uh, commented down below in the that uh, they wanted to know how you actually write the ratios for these triangles so without wasting any time let's straight away learn them so first thing is criteria of similar triangles before even you start learning how to write down the ratios you should know which are the criteria for similar triangles and we have already discussed about these that you have side 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 similarity test SAS similarity test and AAA similarity test if you have not seen the video for the criteria of similar triangles I will put the link in the description box go ahead and watch that video as well because based on that you'll be able to understand this part once you have found out with which ratios two triangles are similar okay it can be either one of these then we write down the ratios now so let us take an example over here look at these two triangles okay I have triangle PQR and ABC both these triangles are similar to each other so by let us say AAA similarity test so in this case I will say that my angle P over here is equal to angle A angle R okay is equal to angle C and angle Q is equal to angle B now to write the similar tri ratios for similar triangles ignore that sound uh, I would write it as triangle P Q R is similar to triangle now I know you in, in your lower classes you must have studied that whenever you write the name of the triangle it, even if you write it as C B A or A C B or B A C it's the same triangle but whenever you are writing similar triangles you need to make sure that now this angle P and angle A over here they are corresponding right so I will write see the way I'm going I'm writing it as P Q R so I'll write it the same way so I will write it ignore the sound okay so I will write it as triangle A B and C because this angle over here is equal to this angle so P and A okay then Q and B so Q and then comes B and then over here it is R and then C so I have written it in a proper order so I have gone from here then here and then here okay so once you have written these two triangles in the proper way then I can write down the ratio it's very simple now so I will write this as PQ and AB so next two alphabets eh? the first one and the second one first one and second one so PQ upon AB is equal to QR upon BC and I can write PR upon AC that's how you prove and write the ratios now let us take in this case what happens see over here I have purposely written the names ABC and ABC over here but this triangle over here is similar to this triangle PQR now if, if you look at them they are like you know a mirror image if this was a mirror it is completely opposite way it is facing but which are the angles that are similar so 
angle P is equal to angle A. So I'll write it exactly the same way. So Okay, so angle P is equal to angle A, then angle R is equal to angle C and angle Q is equal to angle B. But in this case, now the way it was over here, I could write, you know, the top angle equal to the top angle. But in this case, it's not happening that way. So here I will write. First triangle you can write name it however you want. The second triangle you have to be very careful when you are naming it. So I will write triangle PQR is similar to triangle. Now which one? This angle and this angle is equal, right? So angle P. So first I've written P, right? So then I will write the angle which is equal to P first because that's how I've written it so I will write angle a sub place A over here vertex A then Q is equal to B so Q I will write over here B then I'm going for angle uh, R which is over here so R is equal to C then only I will be able to write down the ratio so this will become PQ upon AB okay and QR upon BC and PR upon AC so I'll write it down for you so that you know it well PQ okay PQ this two first two vertex is AB over here first two then it is QR second and the third one upon BC is equal to first and the third one PR upon AC now if you look over here and look at this ratio it is the same thing in spite of the triangles not looking the same way I'm able to write down the correct ratios because I'm going in a proper order let's take an example over here I have made sure that you know I prove Two triangles similar now I need to write down the ratios which are the two triangles I'm talking about I'm talking about triangle Y X Z okay so I'll write it down over here Y X Z and triangle X A Z okay so I will mark it Y X Z this entire pink color triangle and this blue color triangle okay so these are the two triangles I'm trying to prove similar I have not written them in the proper form to write down the ratios directly okay I've just told you which are the two triangles I have to notice so for you to understand better I have separated these two triangles so I have Y X Z here the bigger triangle and X A Z over here so okay I have managed to prove these two triangles similar now I need to write down their ratios so to write down their ratios first we have to understand which angle is equal to which one now if you look over here Y X Z this Z over here and this Z that this is a common angle which means both these angles are equal so I can start over here that triangle Z okay then I move to a triangle or angle which is 90 degrees so from Z I have gone to X okay so over here if I'm starting first is first right so Z then I have moved to a triangle which was 90 degrees or rather which was equal now in this case I have considered 90 so that it becomes better it might be anything so here I will also go to that point where the 90 angle is formed so here it is A and then the next alphabet that's remaining is Y and here it is X so now I can say that these two triangles are similar I have written 
them in the proper form that means if you know if i would remove this triangle and try to place it exactly on this the points that have to meet each other are this z has to meet z x has to meet a and y has to meet x if this happens then only the triangle you know will fit in exactly into that shape otherwise you know it might be like this that i have a triangle over here okay and i have a triangle over here even these two triangles are similar i can't just remove them and place it on top i'll have to remove this okay turn it and then place it so that it falls exactly into this right you know you must have uh, remember or played those jigsaw puzzles which were like this correct even if you had found the correct piece you wouldn't be able to directly place it the way you found it you would rotate it so that it fits into that gap right similarly these triangles have to be named properly so that they fit into the other space correctly so i've started with a common point then i went to the angle that i know and then the third one which i was this so even if i want to write it over here straight away so these two triangles right the pink and the blue one so i will look at the common point z and then i will write z x y the bigger triangle and then i will go from the common point to the 90 degrees so z a x now once i have written them properly i can write the ratios easily so i can write first and the second one so z x upon z a okay first and the second one then second and the third one so i can write x y upon a x and z y first and the third one z y upon z x okay so that's how i can write these ratios i hope you have understood it if you have not then please go ahead watch the video again try to recollect watching the criteria for similar triangles and you should be able to understand watch the all the triangle chapter videos again because that will give you an idea because most of the times i have written the ratios very easily that's because i know it and you are learning it so you need to get this idea first and then watch the video again so that you are able to write the ratios for similar triangles easily okay just for your homework and understanding try this i have two triangles pqr and rnq okay i need to prove these two triangles similar so i'll just mark them for you this triangle okay this triangle pqr and this triangle this angle is 90 over here and this angle is also 90 okay prove these two triangles similar and comment in the comment section what will be the ratios for it if you have understood okay if you did like this video go ahead smash that like button share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel take care stay blessed bye bye